All right, guys. This is what it takes to put on a chrome handlebar. And people think it's a cover. It's not a cover. It's actually a chrome handlebar. But uh, the the hard part is you got to get this sucker off right here, and it's got four screws that you can't hardly get to. And the only way to get to it is to remove this whole section. And this is my second install I've done, so this time I removed a lot less than I did last time because I was trying to see how little I could take off and get the job done. Um, did it help me? I don't know, a little bit I guess, but uh, still hard job, yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. Uh, this whole dash section, everything's got to come off and there's little clips and bolts and everything everywhere uh, but now I'm fixing to put the chrome one on and my recommendation on anything chrome is to tap the holes, run a tap through them um, this, this one uh, seems to be okay uh, but the first one I got, and I'm, I'm sure they've learned, uh, you know, the, through the years, but the first one I got, some of the screw holes had uh, chrome in them. And got it all bolted up, and I went to put those little covers on the underneath side of the bar, and suckers would not go in. And so I had to, you know, tap them in place. So it's always better if uh, uh, you can tap them, you know, while you uh, got the part off. I've got a little, I mean, there's all sorts of different, you know, you can go buy a cheap little tap and die set, uh, metric. Um, I've got a nice snap-on one that's actually a, a thread chaser and re-threader. But uh, I just run these through, and then I know that it's going to be good when I go to bolt everything back up. But anyway, if you're thinking about doing chrome handlebar cover, haha, <laughs> it's a... Uh, not a cover, it's a handlebar. That's what you're replacing right there. One of the main hard things was that, you know, you also got to get this wiring harness out. And this all goes to right here. This is your power, and then this is your audio uh, connection for the uh, GPS. Now I'm moving my GPS to the top of my dash, so it's going to be in a totally different location. So I'm rerouting my, matter of fact, if you look at this here, that's uh, how I'm going to route my wires to get back to the connection there, because my, my GPS will actually be sitting right about there, uh, right in the middle. I've got a RAM mount that I'm, that I'm working on. You know, I can show that to you real quick. I'm going to have, a, it's going to actually mount right here on the dash, and I'll have a RAM ball mount. Uh, on there and then this will basically sit like that with the ball mount and it'd be pretty cool but anyway a lot of work to do handlebars uh, I'm also changing out the putting the chrome uh, windshield bracket on it while I'm at and then I'm pretty much chromed out uh, this thing should be styling in so I'm going to post this on uh, spiderlovers.com and of course it will be on the Can-Am Spider Facebook page and uh, Spider Rider website. So if you got any questions, don't ask me. I don't know what I'm doing. I just hope I can get this thing back together now. The monster out.